Covering all things Lego, from Minneapolis to Fiverton and Lego Cities beyond, it's Bricking News. Guten Tag, willkommen bei Bricking News. Mein Name ist Jason und diese ist Alex und wir sprechen Lego. Was machen Sie, Alex? Komm <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tell me he was going to do that. <laughs> I figured I would uh, give a little bone to our German viewer. That was great. That was fantastic. I don't know. A little rusty They probably are like, that's really Dutch. bad. <laughs> well, your Dutch uh, wouldn't have helped it you. <laughs> it sounded convincing to me. Of course, I'm an American. Everything sounds convincing to me. Yeah. Well, I, I just tried to do it. <laughs> I just tried to speak it with confidence. Yeah, that's I think that's what it, it, I think that's what it, like, that sold it, man. I was, I was, I, and I was like, hey. <laughs> they're probably listening and they're like, that grammar's horrible. Probably. Anyways. Are you going to have subtitles under that? Welcome, Welcome to Breaking News. news. <laughs> I'm Jason. My this is Alex. Jason. And we're talking Lego. There you go. That's pretty much what I said. I think, that's what I think I said, at least, I guess. <laughs> Maybe our German viewer can tell us if it was right. Yeah, let us know. You we have speak, a few. You speak German. We have a few. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We Absolutely. Have, yeah. We have at least three people I know that we know of, yeah. German countries, uh -huh. so. There you go. That's for you guys. Yeah, they're probably cringing like, oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't ever use it, so I've, I've lost a lot of it. Anyway. What do we got going on today? Anything good? Uh, lots of great stuff, man. So much good stuff. Like great Lego stuff that we're going to talk about. Lego stuff. All right. Well, you tell me because we have some topics lined up. We do. Uh, that are interesting topics. Maybe. Some controversial topics. <laughs> maybe. And maybe. I always wonder if they're going to be interesting. Like, I think this will be well, good. And they sound, eh. when we talk about them before the show, like, that, yeah, that'll be good content. That'll be really interesting. And then we're like, this kind of sucks, doesn't it? Like, as we're recording, like, this is a good I know. <laughs> Turn off the camera. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Anywho, Spa. We, we always have shirts. We always, we always have shirts. We'll, we'll always have the shirts. As long uh. as we remember. I forgot to remember to remember to forget. The shirt. Is that a song? I don't know. Or is it something people say? <laughs> I forgot <laughs> to remember. Spot, I forgot to remember. Do you remember to forget about the starting? <laughs> Captain's Lock. So, speaking of song, you know yeah. Jabo has that song that he plays occasionally in his videos. The Joseph Olsen song. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, it's it's fun. I love it. it. I love hearing that. So do you know who that's <laughs> done by? No. It is performed by They Might Be Giants. Oh, no kidding. And they made it for him. No way. Yeah, because I was wondering. I'm like, because I'd heard it, and I was like, that sounds like They Might Be Giants. I was almost certain it was. Because they have a very distinct sound. And in one of his recent videos, he was talking about it, and he said that that's it. And huh. I'm curious, like, like, it sounds like he knows the guys in the band. He said that's, that's his favorite band. Anyways, it's pretty cool. That's cool. Wow. And now you have your own private theme song that no one can copyright. That oh, is that impressive. Would be cool. Wow, how'd it be? So, yeah, get them to make one for us. Yeah. <laughs> What's it going to sound like? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Something like that would be very appropriate. There's for our song. News. There you go. I got bad news. One of us is going to have to make a sponsor video. Probably like week. a fart sound. <laughs> there you go. The one from... Uh, <laughs> The be wild woods, the, the campfire scene. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, okay. All right, so yes, we do have some topics today. We also I'll stay on topic. Okay, we have our our food segment. Do you, oh. you want to go there or do you want to wait? Uh, let's wait a little bit. Okay, because we have something we special. I don't want to go don't international wanna, today. I don't want to lose people watching this okay. early. That's like fine. we, I want to get through at least maybe ten minutes before people start. Going, okay, I'm done. Okay. All right, um, so a couple of things. We talked about this, or touched on it briefly last week. There is the Snow White set that just recently came out. Yes. The Ideas set. Ideas set. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, that's right, it's not. <laughs> it's, it uh, was. That's, uh, that's where the <laughs> issue comes in. Whoa. Sorry, that was a little slip of the tongue. Uh-oh. So, well, cats out of bag. I, so you're in land, so you're going to go ahead and speak for them and... Is that how this is going to go? I am. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll speak for the land. So there's some controversy around the... Super controversial. So much controversy. Yeah. 
It's a scandal, I tell you. You know, I, I came across this uh, on uh, scrolling on Facebook, uh -huh. and it was Beyond the Brick highlighted a Brick Fanatics article that caught my attention. I saw that one. And, and I was like, what? what got me thinking about And usually I scroll quickly through those. I'm like, eh, fun. And, you know, it's, it's fun. I think we're spoiled uh, with, with all the content that we see and the amazing creations we see. It really takes something truly unique, not huge or incredible, mm -hmm. but unique for us to stop scrolling and go, ooh. Yeah. Let's learn more. Uh, that's just kind of how we are. Back back in the day, I remember when like YouTube was cut. Not not YouTube. Just like the internet was kind of relatively new. Brickshelf. You guys know about Brickshelf? It's like this website where people share their pictures mm -hmm. of their collections. I was addicted to that. I was like, this is amazing. So I want to share my stuff too. Anyway, I went down a rabbit hole. Sorry. What were we talking about? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Lego ideas. Yeah. So I was like, wait a minute. That was a Lego idea set. It was, and it got approved. It got the. And it, got, it went to 10,000 votes. votes. Was approved. This is two, 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 three years ago. It was like 2021, 20, I right. would say. Right. Uh, but ultimately, it was not chosen. They said no. We're not going to advance this. And, and now, now we have it. 2024 comes out, and we have a new Lego Snow White set. That's and not understandably, ideas. the dude's and, not really happy about it. And it, it looks very similar to that build. Well, of course, it's going to look similar to the but build. But it's based off it's, of it's a, off of a the, movie, right? Yeah, so, the cottage. It's snow. It's the Seven Dwarfs Cottage. It's it is what it is. Exactly. So, but when you look at his design, what was submitted, mm -hmm. and what Lego came out with, you're like, it's an idea set from this guy. His name is Harry, I think, right? Finkel uh, or something. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, is the designer, and he, he's quoted as saying, "I am very disappointed." Something to that effect. Something like that. I would say something else, but. I, I think, like, if I was him, mm -hmm. I would, but you know what, though? So let's first talk about this, and because and, this is not the first time this has happened, okay? No. It's not like, oh, wow, suddenly, what's Lego doing here? Uh, understandably, in that article, they talk about the Ghostbuster Firehouse. The Ghostbusters Firehouse was another one of country that was re recent, because that was an idea set that people loved. Mm -hmm. 10,000 votes, fantastic, and they said no, and then, oh, suddenly, there, oh, there it is. And again, it's built off of something in the movie, so it's going to look... Pretty much the same. Yes, absolutely. And there's there's been maybe one or two others. There was the that, Jurassic Park gate. They called that, that the gate. The yes, as well. the gate was there as well. And they right. said that they had sketches from before the submission or you know whatever. And that's fine of the dinosaur, yes. but yeah. So let's go. Okay, let's go right to the point here. Whose side are we taking? Well, this oh. is this is where it, it, it's hard. Like it's a gray area, mm -hmm. and and this is. This is kind of my thoughts on it. Like, if you want to submit something for Lego Ideas and you're submitting it based on an IP, you, I mean, you've got a couple of issues. Number one, are they going to get the IP? Because mm -hmm. there was, what was it, the never ending story, I think, mm -hmm. one was submitted and they ended up pulling it because the, the people that own the rights said, we're not doing that. So you've got that issue. But number two, they could already be working on something and. I'm not. I'm it not going to say yeah, Lego. It, you know, we I'm don't not know. go out right and say they we don't stole know. it. Yeah, I, I would. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But there certainly is some suspectness to some of it. I would say very suspect. Yeah. And so what I would say is, if you're looking to submit something, if you submit a typewriter that you know sand green, <laughs> I mean, you know that that's probably a safer bet than. I don't know, the Planetary Express on Futurama, because it's mm -hmm. going to look like one thing, and yes. and even if they're already working on it, it you're going to feel bad if it doesn't mm -hmm. get built, but they do that. Yes. I don't know. Absolutely. What, what's your thoughts on it? Uh, it's, it's tough. I mean, when I look at the situation, it, it, the right thing to do seems like it's his idea. He got 10,000 votes, and now you're coming out with a set two years later. That is exactly that. Uh, so there's obviously some red tape. There's obviously stuff that goes beyond, goes on behind the curtain that we just mm -hmm. don't see. Um, and for whatever reason, they're not going to be super transparent about it. Maybe some things, but not everything. Uh, but the point, but the fact that he says that he was really disappointed in the whole thing, um, it, it just makes me feel like, like it should have been his. Like it should have yeah. been the credit should have been his. You, we can see the timing of it all. Yeah. We see the design. We see the results of this fantastic set. And I, I can't help but to think because it's not that like maybe, it's a submission that was 
just put on in the last three months. Yeah, and I want to say, and, and that's where I think a lot of people might did, have issues with it. Didn't it come out? Wasn't didn't he do it a couple of times? What, I don't know he that have, he did, but there's been there a was few another one options. that was yeah, there's that been was a few Snow White attempts on that. But the fact that Lego has just been pumping the Disney stuff out, mm -hmm. they have been pumping it out hard. The Disney princesses and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we already had Snow White out at the castle when this all came out, so that the castle was in development. It had to be uh, with this with this submission going on. Who they just recolored the and order. you're like, oh okay, so and, and maybe there was maybe there was some interference. I say the word interference, maybe that's not the best word from Disney itself about the product and the design being a Lego ideas. Maybe they didn't like that. Uh, maybe they were strong armed because we all know how Disney is these days. But I don't know. Uh, that, so it's it's not we we cannot say definitively why or how it happened, mm -hmm. um, but all we can say is that we do feel for this guy, uh, Mr. Finkel, uh, yeah. getting kind of the short end of the stick on this fantastic design. Yeah. He did a great job; it was a great idea. Uh, but in the end, like you said, there is risk involved with uh, submitting IPs on Lego Ideas, yeah. and uh, Lego's going to do what they want to do. Uh, so they are not obligated to. And there, there's terms and conditions when you do your yep, Lego ideas. Make exactly. sure you understand there. There's. It's not like. Well, it's not like he can claim it's my it's my thing. Well, oh yeah, it's, it's right. Disney's IP. Yeah. Right. So I mean, right. So, uh, I mean, there there have been what what I do hate. And this is kind of a lot off topic here. Is that when you have some awesome designs that are very popular on Lego ideas, and then they're ripped off by third party companies. Well, that's a whole different. Yeah, that, I know that's, that that's that is. Very black and white crap, right? Uh, but this one is just one of those things, like you said, a gray area, mm -hmm. and, it, and it really is. Uh, but all I can say is, man, I do kind of feel bad for the guy uh, because that was a great submission. But in the end, it is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, yeah. and yeah, it, it's a it's an uphill battle to start with if that's what you're submitting, right? Uh, and I guess Lego hasn't officially commented on it, at least as of the Brick Fanatics article. Yeah, no, a, there hasn't been. They did talk about that Ghostbusters set. Because there, there was a, an official statement that they read out. I don't have the whole thing here. But essentially, you know, they basically said we were already in development mm -hmm. of it. Because I guess this guy went to yeah. Billund and met with some of the designers. Yes, And yes, that was did. the part of that mm -hmm. one that really bothered the guy. Uh -huh. He's like, I showed up. Why didn't they say, say anything when I was and there? People yeah. said, you know, and they said, you know, there was confidentiality. And we, you know, so we don't want to let things out, which is understood. But... You know, they were asked, you know, well, why didn't you make him sign a non-disclosure or an NDA? Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that probably would have been the more prudent path to take to tell the guy, look, we're already building this just so you know. Um, I, I think it would have been more fair and it would have made less gray area yeah. for that or at least the appearance of, of them stealing the design. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah, it seems I, I looked up the idea. Uh, the, the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, because mm -hmm. um, that the article interested me. I was like, oh, that's that's kind of a it's controversial, you know? Like, oh, what's going on? Ah, so I, I looked up his submission from Everyone a couple of years Lego ago. Drama. Oh, that we do, we stoke it up, baby. And I was reading a lot of the comments, and all of them, maybe one or two here or there, uh, but everyone was like, Lego is they messed up, man. They did you wrong. So I'm kind of curious what our audience kind of feels like that. Do you guys kind of feel like, well? You got to know what you're getting yourself into, and you can't be too shocked if this happens. Um, or you feel like they kind of, you got kind of screwed over by the Lego group, you know? Is that, is that what you guys think? So we would be curious to know your thoughts. So let us know in the comment section below. And as always, you guys, we appreciate your fantastic comments. They really are fantastic. We love reading these ones. We do. We sure do. That's why we read them on, on camera, like we did last week. It was That's fun. That's right. A lot of good stuff. Like how much you guys pay for minifigures, which in some cases is a lot of money. Wow. I think people Yikes. were... Uh, well, I don't know if surprise is the right word, but you know the fact that you were... There were a couple things about you only paying like no more than like 15 or 17 bucks. Yeah. But you're not a minifigure guy, so that's... No, I'm not. So. Yeah. I mean, I like minifigs. I like the way they look in display cases. I walk by and go, ah, go, oh, you know what? Speaking of drama... Okay, we're gonna. Are we moving away from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Sure. Okay, let's do that. So we're. Okay. End of that segment. Now to the new segment. Oh, the new segment. So I was. Um, I got this notification of a comment on one of my uh, older videos. Not old, but um, someone said, "What do you think of this uh, shelving unit now that it they've increased their prices?" I was like, uh -oh. "What?" 
Uh, so you guys know I did some the video reviews of Shop Pop yeah. displays. I love these displays. The displays are awesome. Um, they really are. They're they're high end. They look gorgeous. They're easy to put together. You saw the video of me moving my mm -hmm. Titanic just so I can get a better look at this thing. Yep. They really just make the 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 sets look great. I mean, they're display cases. I mean, they're not the only ones out there. There's a lot who no. do it. Now, are we talking so, about just the Titanic display, or are we talking about... No, we're talking about, about the minifig display. No, I didn't... One. I no. think the Titanic I, display seen, is part of this, too. Time out. I've seen your famous commercial on Instagram as I'm scrolling now. Oh. I'm, like, scrolling. I'm, like, why am I hearing Alex? Sorry. Anyways, You're gonna it just makes me, me laugh. I'm kind of, kind of a big deal. People know me. So, I'm, like, what? So, I looked I'm it up. I'm famous adjacent. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Not famous adjacent. Famous adjacent. Adjacent, yes. Gent. <laughs> Go continue. Irregardless, moving right <laughs> along with this, uh, I, I looked it up, and sure enough, man, they didn't just increase their pieces, uh, their prices, and they jacked them way up. Did they? So the, the, the one that I have is, is the biggest one. Holds, okay. I think, 216 minifix, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe that was the price. I think it was like $220, I think. That's the new price or the old That's price? the old price. Okay. It is now three hundred dollars, an eighty dollar increase, and I went, "Whoa, shoot!" And and they did this; they had to do it shortly after I did my review of them, because so I did my review. It was great. I actually did, I think, recommend it. Well, they had to cover at... your fee. <laughs> that face is for you, Earl. Go, go yeah, because you know I'm charging <laughs> fifty grand per video, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I was I was shocked to see that they had just jacked up their prices, and I went. Dude, and, and on top of that, uh, to rub salt in the wound, they email me and say, hey, we got some bad news. It looks like your promo code got leaked online and now it's all over the place on the internet and anybody who's anybody can just get the discount. Like, I was kind of like, yeah, so? Is, it wasn't that the point you gave <laughs> yeah. it out on the internet? <laughs> I know, but I guess it gives credit to me uh, is the problem. Uh, so they, they want to be able to know what codes can be credited to what creator. Oh, okay. So I get that. So like, so we got to stop your code. I'm like, oh, this is great. So the prices are higher, and my code no longer works. These are going to be great videos if anybody watches them right now. Like, oh, this is great. Your code doesn't work. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, it, it, it's like 30 percent more. You know, like it, it's yeah. kind of it's frustrating, yeah. and it, it it reflects on me as the creator. Like I'm the face. Like, hey, you, you, grr, I don't want to do this. This is a ripoff now, maybe. But You're the shyster. Um, I know, yeah. So I felt bad, and because one dude was like, "Would you still recommend this at that price at three hundred bucks?" I'm like, "Gosh, three hundred dollars. It's nice, but I don't know if it's three hundred dollars nice." Mm -hmm. But I thought, like, what about the competition? Because a lot of people talk about the Wicked Brick, yeah, and and that's my display for my Millennium Falcon, yeah, that's which who I use. I love, and I've ordered that, but shipping is. Because they're in the UK. Devastating. So for us in the yes. States, it is, it was, it's I think it stuff. was half as much to get it shipped as it was to buy the, the so display. I, I kind of thought about, like, okay, let me do a comparison. Yeah. So I, I was there. I, went on my, I was on my tablet at the time. I wasn't at home. Um, so I pulled it up on, um, I pulled up Wicked Bricks. Let me do a comparison because it's $300. Okay. And it just so happens that Wicked Brick is also 300 USD um, for one that holds 300 Mini, I think it's 300. I could be wrong. Okay. Don't quote me on that. But it was bigger. Okay. And I was like, okay, let me get it shipped here. $191. So then it becomes no contest. Yeah. Now, I don't know if there's very similar uh, minifig displays that are like that, that are here domestically in the U.S. I don't know. I haven't done a lot of research. I was just like... I wonder, do they sell any like that on Amazon? Because you can get free shipping on a lot of those things. Um, you can get them, but just yeah. not the, like these ones. Well, but, I mean, have you looked recently? Like, not re no, not recently. Similar? I, I'm just wondering no. if that's an option. Because I know it, it the, very... the black old ones you have with the glass front. Like, I have the yes. same ones. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And those are 150 bucks. Yeah. And they yeah. hold a lot of figs. They do. They hold 200. 200. Yeah. I've been happy with them, so. Me too. I mean, I, if it's 300 or or 450 after shipping. Yeah, it, it, I, I would have to go yeah. with the one that I have because I like it. Right, and it, and you know it works. And the and those and are, I get it shipped for free. Right. The <laughs> it, it all kind of adds it, up in in the favor of going to Amazon over over. I this can buy a five hundred dollar case and not afford yeah. to put anything in it. So. <laughs> Yes, exactly. That's, exactly that's what you're what doing. It is. So. Yes. so I, but, but okay. To Wicked Bricks' uh, credit, though, at that particular weekend that I was on it, they were offering free shipping. To the U.S. To the U.S. Oh. I even put it in my cart, and it had it crossed out that 191 dollars. I was like, ooh. 
So I could get one better than Shop Pop Displays if I acted then, okay, no. to get it. And But it's a real shame because I actually wanted a second one of those. Oh, Pop Pop. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend... So, so there you go. I'm not going to spend $300 on it. Not to say it's, it's a great display case, but that it was just, I guess I'm just saying it's just disappointing that everything is just getting so expensive and something that was already expensive is now, because people are saying like, that's, that's, this is really nice, Alex, but oh, it's kind of pricey even with your 10% discount. Oh, and by the way, I'm like, so they wanted me to give them a different discount code. I'm like, well, I'm already advertising it on these videos that are public that it's Alex 10. So I just said, okay, noon's 10. I just updated it in the description. No one's going to look at the description and yeah. see it, you know? So it was just, it was disappointing um, to find that out, but not surprising. I mean, it's not like it's only shop pop displays. I'm sure everybody's, everybody's having fun with the higher prices. Like, hey, yeah. they're charging more. I'm going to charge more too, and uh, it'll be just fine, you know? So a year and a half ago, Lego did it. Right? I mean, everyone, <laughs> I'm still, all the inflation. Still bitter. Yeah, I know. Still bitter. But, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you okay. um, because that was so that popped up <laughs> regarding my channel and videos. And I, I love the display cases. They, they're really neat. And, and the Titanic was, was cool uh, it, with all the lights on it and the backdrop. It's, yeah. it's pretty neat. But that thing is, it was already really expensive. So, I mean, it's a big set, though. Man, yeah. I think it's, it's huge. So, anyway. Um, I don't know why I said that or popped. It just popped in my head. Mm -hmm. So, shop pop displays. Check them out. They don't just do Lego. They do a lot of other cool stuff too. Uh, I want them to do Speed Champions because my Speed Champions collection is starting to get kind of sizable now. Mm. And with the recent wave, if I get all those, I'm like, oh man. So it'd be really cool to get one that stacks them up on the wall. Don't you already have some of your Speed Champions in the? Oh no, you've got the bigger. No, those are the, the small one. six stud wide ones that yeah. are in the the building. Yeah. Well, no, but you okay? But you have some of your bigger cars in the cases, don't you? Don't you have a couple? Uh, well, well, yeah, the the uh, the Technic for the Technic supercars. Yeah, right, I was yeah. thinking those. Sorry, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> no good stuff. Continue on. Okay. Um, you want to talk about the Batman set? I am Batman. Yeah, well, by the time we air this, it's old news. Uh, but it did get announced as if we make this video. T was it today? Yeah. It was today, yeah. Uh, so if you didn't see my unboxing video, uh, I did an unboxing. I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that when I did my video of the unboxing of that, it was going to be uh, announced or revealed two days later. It's like, oh, cool, I don't have to wait too long to, to publish this. Uh, so uh, I knew I was getting something DC-themed. So when you say, just to make sure everyone yeah. understands, so you mean you could show the box, but then re you're talking two days later, you can do the review of the set? No, I, I, the, I could do my reveal video. Okay. Yeah, you know, which was basically me open, open doing the, the unboxing. Hey, okay. check it out. Here it is. And you know what? Honestly, we know you love those. I love those. Those are fun. And I, I got some good feedback on them. And they are kind of fun to do an unboxing. Well, but it's, it's better saying, because you were early. Like some of them, they've shown them. Like it's been, like you said, it's old news. It's yes, been out a couple yes, weeks. Yes, right. And then that's where you struggle to get people to watch it. Yeah, uh, which, whatever. Um, but, it, it is what it is. But we've had this conversation before where, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to compete with the big channels, with reviews, uh, especially if it's something that I everybody's getting, you know. So uh, the, but the, the set itself, I, I, it doesn't really have a name for it. It just says Batman the Animated Series. Mm -hmm. That's that's its name, I think, yeah. and but the the review embargo on that I think is the twenty fourth of March. Okay. So, look forward to that, and I do look forward to that because it is not a set that I would buy. Now, I, at the making of this video, I have not done my review of this. It's actually almost done. It's in the other room here. I had to clear this looking. off, uh, but I have four bags left. To put it all together. So, uh, but it is. Quite impressive. Now, I don't buy art sets. So let me ask you this, though. But, yeah. I, I know you're not totally complete, but you probably should have an idea at this point mm -hmm. of what you're going to feel like at the end. Do you feel, because like you said, you don't generally buy any art sets, mm -hmm. but do you feel different And now that you've built it? Like, would you consider buying this or recommending it to someone? I would recommend it. If you're it. a Batman fan, I mean, not just yeah. a general, as a casual, it, but. As a casual fan, for me, like if I saw it and I didn't get it from Lego, I go, well, that's really cool. Uh, I wouldn't buy it because I'm not a Batman super fan. 
I have, I have a Batman shelf and display. I say, you have a lot of cool. Batman sets for not being a you, big you, Batman you're, fan. You're not wrong. I, but but then I love, again, I guess you're not a big Star Wars fan. Continue. Here, regardless. <laughs> But no, but this one, what's unique about this one, and I think this might actually convince people who are casual fans like myself to actually want to buy it, and that is just the sheer amount of cool things within it. Uh, it's not just an art set. It has a lot of just, I mean, and I say a lot. I can't, I can't stress this enough. The Easter eggs in this thing yeah. is, is incredible. But not just that, but the detail. And maybe this is like with other art sets too. Like you said, it's a good point. This is the first art set that I've actually built. But just the depth and the detail the intricate details yeah. is amazing. Yeah. It's and, and building it, and someone made a comment in my reveal video that it looks horrible to build and very tedious. It hasn't been. It's been, it has a lot of small pieces, mm -hmm. tons of tiny pieces, but it's in 44 sections. So every time you're opening a bag, there's a very small, very manageable pile in front of you. And you put it together and it's really cool because like, how are they putting it? Oh, this is a really cool building. Oh, that's so cool looking on the, against the skyline. Um, what I recommend you do, though, is watch the intro to Batman the Animated Series. If you just watch that whatever minute-long intro, mm -hmm. that is... Everything you need to that know. That is it. It's all there. Uh, the skyline, the looks, the, the, and, and Batman standing there on top of the building. Stickers, yes. Oh, not horrible. Okay. Not, it's not a lot. It, it has a reasonable amount of stickers. I'm, I'm not disappointed in the stickers at all. Okay, okay that's fine. There is one print, and that is a two by two tile of Batman. That's the only print? That's that is the only print. So far. I mean, I've got four bags left. But he's up there doing a stance like it shows at the very end of the intro. So, uh, but no, I, I'm impressed with it. Um, and I think anybody who's a fan of the, of the animated series, this is a no brainer. It's fantastic. It can be displayed on a wall, displayed uh, on, on the whatever stand, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like this on a thing. shelf? On, on a shelf, okay. yes. Elf on a shelf. Uh, Batman. Batman on a shelf. Uh, so, and it's big. It is, it is enormous. Uh, and the, just watch my review. Check it out. Even if you are certain you're not going to buy it, I mean, that's fine. $300 is a lot of money. Yeah. Like I, I wasn't sure the price when I opened it, but I, I guessed $300 and I was right on because, excuse me, uh, I was looking at the piece count and the size of this thing. I'm like, oh, there's no way this is going to be just $200 or $250. Yep. Yep. And there's a lot of people commenting like this. I wouldn't pay $200 bucks for this or $250. Yes, uh, that's kind of like the emotional response to for seeing it in the sticker shock. But give it, and, I, and I'm trying to say you should buy this. I, I give my review. I give my perspective. Um, and I'm still probably going to say like, oh, it's really cool, but I still probably wouldn't spend $300 on it, as cool as it is. Like if I had $300, I would spend it on something like the, the 1989 Batmobile. You know, even though it's retired, like something like that is is more cool to me oh. than a skyline of Gotham. But I don't know. Maybe I don't. know, Maybe when I'm doing my review, I'll change my mind. I don't know. Mindy freaking loves it. She loves it. She, when I came in, she was Jeez. saying, "I think that's one of my top three yeah, of all and, of the Lego sets." And she's telling me, "Like I want to be in your review. I better be in your review." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> you got it. You are more than welcome to be in our reviews. You can do the review." Um, but I, I was I was happy to see how excited she was over a set. Uh, because when she gets excited, I, I'm like happy. Like, oh, cool! Because this is something that we can get excited about together, and show it together, and have fun with it. So, oh, yeah. cool. That was that was a long spiel about a Lego. So set. that that's uh, roughly about the same price as the Shadow Box, right? Isn't that one? No, the Shadow Box is, is four hundred bucks. Was it four? I was thinking it was yeah. three fifty. Okay. Yeah, it was four hundred dollars. Okay. That's a lot of money. And like oh, I said in the, my recommendation of that, I don't think I would have bought it with my own money. But like again, if you're a Batman fan. It's pretty of cool. Of the two, which would you recommend? Like, if you're going to spend that type of money? Well, that's a good question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait for his review and find out. Ah, I don't know. Do you want to do that? Dude, that, no, that's a good question. Um, I don't, it just came to my mind. I don't know. That, that, that so. is actually tough because they're, they're both cool in their own way. But when you think about the price and, and the stuff that's kind of included in both, that's actually not an easy... Do you know the one that. thing about the Batman art set that I... I think is appealing to me as a Lego fan is you can hang it on the wall. Like it's not going to take up. You, yes. You don't space. have a space issue. Space. space. <laughs> you knew it. I know. <laughs> well, I, you know what? I, one of these days we're going to say space and I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to like, <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> you and I both know he's going to be work. like, He's on a call, and then he's like, and space. And they're like, what is wrong with him? We need to expand the space in his contact center. <laughs> Space!
Uh, is everything okay, Alex? Yes, everything is fine. Why do you ask? Uh, all right, moving right along. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No, it's a great set. Uh, is it for everybody? No. Uh, but, um, but yeah, check out my review. I think it's the 24th. It'll be available and, and, uh, it's going to be a fun one. I think. Okay. I don't know. No, I, I think it looks really good. I, I saw it up here on the table. Mm. When, oh yeah. Right. When yeah, we came was, in. Hanging so. out here. Yeah. It was good. Um, I have a micro build. You want to do that? Let's do the micro build. Yes. Oh. So I wanted to be fancy like you. So I'm using a treasure chest. I don't have the same one, but. Where's that treasure? Oh, that's right here. Oh, you have it in It's here? actually still in here. Does it have anything in it? Oh, it's empty. Well, this is my Lego built pirate treasure chest for my Lego pirate. That's really cool. It is pretty nice. That like is, it. that is actually quite unique. I don't think a lot of people have done that. Ooh, there's something, something inside. inside. Arr, it's there's really treasure, treasure inside. Arr. So I have a micro build. This Alex is really cool. I did it. see your video on, on this and I thought it was pretty neato. Neato burrito. So I'm going to let you see what this is. <laughs> Okay. This is there's a micro build. He doesn't know what this. it is. Go ahead. Now don't don't let go of the top or it'll Oh, it'll fall. Break. Okay. It's it's kind of heavy. Okay. No way. Oh, this, can I take it out? Yeah. This is so cool. Oh no. <laughs> you guys, this All right, here we go. That is so cool. And, and the tipper comes <laughs> off. Unfortunately, this piece does not come in blue, so. Oh, man. Whatever. That's not fantastic. There you go. That is fantastic. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you tell what it is? Oh, I had to wear my shirt. Oh, that. there it is. <laughs> a micro scale. T wow, he's got like the big, huge one. He's that got he's the got. big one, so I had to go and with. he got the micro scale. This is, oh. this is more my budget right here. Yeah. This is really well done, man. I like it. So I'm. I'm using this to announce the launch of a new channel. Oh, is this a competing tipper truck? You know, truck he has channel? Tipper Truck TV, which is the tipper largest or the fastest growing fast tipper, tipper truck, truck <laughs> channel on YouTube. Um, I'm thinking we need a tiny tipper TV. <laughs> Triple T. For people that, you know, need smaller tipper content. <laughs> I don't know. Is, are you tired of seeing tipper trucks that are just too big? Too big? Well, get on over to Triple T, the tiny, tiny Tipper, tipper TV. Truck TV, <laughs> and check out these tiny Tipper trucks doing their thing. <laughs> You'll meet people like Jason and Alex with nothing better to do than drive around little tiny Tipper trucks. <laughs> Watch Alex as he plays with it playfully for one hour and a half. So do you want to know something funny about that? that has, funny? That has more parts than an actual Tipper truck. Well, that's because you used like one by two plates here in the back. Oh, you yeah. could probably but even eliminate... if I had swapped those out, it's still going to use more. Because like a tipper is one piece, and this, I don't know what way to make it smaller. Yes. You know, so yeah. anyway. That is neat. There, there you go. go. Very There's well done. There's your tiny tipper. The tiny tipper, guys. Check out the tiny tipper TV and its travels. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna go? Is it gonna go to Machu Picchu? Well, no, I already went there. Well, it has to go again. Or maybe it'll go to Disneyland or no. something. I don't know where it'll live. Go to Disneyland, the most expensive place on earth. Well, Jabo did that. He made a tipper truck at Disney World. Right. Where has, <laughs> where has Jabo not built a tipper truck? So I I went ah, back. It tipped. See, it's a tipper. It tipped over. It's a I went back and heavy. found the original <laughs> video on Tipper TV where he actually made the tipper. Oh, really? It was yeah. a sealed set he opened. Whoa. That one tipper. I didn't Whoa. realize that because I, I didn't, didn't appreciate it at the time, huh? And do you know where he opened it and built it? It was like at a Holiday Inn in New Jersey. <laughs> it was very anticlimactic. He's like sitting in his room, you can hear the vacuuming in the background. It was very funny to me. I mean, it was very on brand, honestly. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, you know, so he goes to these places in Chicago and, you know, the, the beach, but he opened the, this 40 year old tipper truck in New Jersey. Anyways, there you go. That made me laugh. Yeah, like you said, it's pretty typical. Nice yeah. job. Well done. Well played with the micro build. Yes. 
slow clap. What do you think, Jabo? Is it? Did he do it justice, man? Hmm. Well, while we're on the topic of Jabo. Oh yes, do the thing. Should we do the thing? Do the thing. Oh God! You sure? All right, it is time for shirts. Shirts. Know he, you know he loves it. The final frontier. These are the shirts of Jabo. <laughs> His ongoing mission to wear a different shirt in every video every day this year. To seek out new viewers and new venues to open up Tipper Trucks. To boldly wear shirts that no one would ever wear in their lives. You done? Uh, I'm never done. Go ahead, man. All right, so we have I Am Groot. This is the one where I think he reviewed the tiny hey, plants. I didn't see that one. Yeah, he, he built the tiny plants. Tanya did those. He said oh, he yeah. actually really enjoyed it. He really, really, really enjoyed that. Enjoyed it. And I think Tanya and my, my, Tanya and my daughter built it together, and they really, really liked that. So. Um, then there's this awesome plain navy shirt. <laughs> but he's got the mic. I know. It just makes me laugh when he's wearing just a plain t-shirt. It's like, oh, that's it? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't have 366 shirts myself, so I can't complain. <laughs> um, and then there's Yoda. Real Yoda. the struggle is. Yo, 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 Yoda. Real the struggle is. Oh. Mm. Uh. Whoa. Like danger. Danger. Mm, yes, that is dangerous stuff right there, man. Mm hmm. And, oh, goes like right that. along with your Batman. Wow. So perfect. Look at that. I am Batman. Incredible. Hey, it's a, it's a T Rex. And then there's this one. I think this one might have been. It's so hard to keep track of all of them, but I'm pretty sure this is the one where he had the vintage haul. Oh yeah, I remember the vintage like hall. The, yeah. the greatest vintage hall ever. The greatest vintage hall ever. It yes. was like 34 minutes because he just kept video. opening box after box and it was all this cool old stuff. So, yeah. you know, that's what he was, what he lives for. So what he lives for, man. There you go. There you go. Old guy. New, New shirt. shirt. <laughs> Thanks for bringing so much entertainment to our lives. Yeah, and content. Apparently like 30%, if not more, of our content is regarding... Something that has to do. Hey, all right, we're doing a. Are we doing a drinking we're game? We're gonna do today. Doing a drinking instead game. Instead of you eating, guys. we're actually gonna do a, a beverage. And I am so sorry. If is it is it fizzy? Yeah, it'll be okay. Okay. We well, open our Mountain Dews at the beginning. Of the, oh, jeez. You drink You're, Mountain Dew all the time. You're it's fine. not. Mountain Dews are not as fizzy as certain I don't fizzy think drinks. So this is. I, we started doing this thing with food and whatever. I thought it might be cool for us to Let's try right into international it. beverages. We have a German. Soda. May I see this? Meso mix. Oh, it's cold. Cola kissed orange. Ah, uh, three hundred. That means cola kissed with orange. Just so you cola know. Cola kissed. Yeah. Oh boy, let's see here. What kind of? I have no idea. There's a lot of zeros. Thirty-five grams of Kali Hendrite. Kali Hendrite Devon Zucker. Salts. No salt. All right. Yes, looks salt. delicious. Hold on. Where's all of the sugar? Why do you care? You're going to drink it. Of course I'm going to drink it, but I just want to know it's gonna what kind of kick it's going to have. It's going to be It's by Coca-Cola. Yes. It's so base. Okay, this is my guess here, and obviously this is clearly Lego content. So <laughs> the this is going to be like Sunkissed or the Orange Shasta. You think so, huh? I used to get this when I was in Germany. I really liked it. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a sugary cola. What's not to like? Well, maybe you don't like orange. So there you go. Okay, do you've we never chug it? You've never Should had... we chug it all in one? Well, that's up to you. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to savor it. It smells like Coca-Cola. It's made by Coca-Cola. Mm. Wait a minute. All right, here we go. Ready, guys? <laughs> I like it. Wait, what's how much alcohol is in this thing? <laughs> None. 12%. Wow, okay. Are you really going to guzzle the whole thing? <laughs> Not now. Um, oh, this is... Uh, um, 
It's orange Coke. Slight, no, not, it, doesn't, it isn't orange at all. Yes, it is. It has no orange taste at all to this. Orange? Uh-huh. There's no orange to this. There is orange to it. Dude, no way. This, if this you taste... If to take like half of a, half of a fa orange Fanta and half Coke, that's what you get. I'm telling you. If you do it, that's what you get. I don't doubt that. I'm just saying I don't mm -hmm. taste the orange. I taste the sugary cola, but it, it does taste like, you know what? I dare say this, if, if you- Orange soft, oh, that is orange juice. It has orange juice in it. So it's more like Mountain dude, Dew. Dude, so it is. Okay, look, time out. I'm calling my- Orange soft house, orange soft concentrate. <laughs> orange juice concentrate, look at that. No, it, okay, look, first of all, it's a delicious <laughs> soda. Okay, it is, it is delicious, however, uh, this is controversial, what I'm about to say. You ready for uh -oh. this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It tastes just like Pepsi. What? It tastes more like Pepsi than oh. anything I... Uh, yeah. If if you gave me this to me and said, is this is this a Coke pro... Is this Coke or is it a Pepsi? I'd say it's a Pepsi. It's neither. It's mezzo mix. It's but good the, geschmeckt. Hold on. I'm going to... I have a... <laughs> oh, he did. He did. It for, all right. <laughs> I really want to just let that one fly, but I didn't because this is a kid's show. <laughs> Isn't that what kids love? Kids love watching adults, middle-aged men drink fizzy soda on <laughs> on a, a Lego-related channel. This is on yours, right? Yes. Oh, in that case, I'm going to belch. No one's, on. no one's going to watch. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Okay. okay. Let me check the rest of this. All the fizzies are gone now. But that's. But at the same time, it kind of... If Okay, fine. I'll give it that it tastes like a Coke product. But it tastes like a Coke product that's been sitting around for like maybe an hour. Like it's kind of lost some of its fizz. Like, I'm not trying to be a jerk here, man. I'm no, just trying fine. to be honest with you. It, it's with not going it to offend like. me if you don't even like it. That's horrible. I, was, I, was I just thought it would be laptop. fun. Isn't there whole YouTube channels like Americans try or British people try American food or whatever? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Well, that was fun. Should we answer a few questions or comments? Let's do it. Let's do it. Now that I got, is it, I'm, I'm assuming it has some caffeine in it. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Good, because I needed some. I was struggling, man. Hey, you know what? Before we get into yes. um, sure, go ahead. Into that, I want to talk about Mardi Gras Man Two Three. Mardi Gras Man Two Three must be stopped. No, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe. Okay, I don't know. I'm curious what you have to so, say because my wife has thoughts on him as well. Oh, I'm sure and she it has does. Nothing to do with the couch. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, ahead. I want to hear this. Go ahead. So I was watching uh, a video of his a little while ago. By the time this airs, anyway, definitely a while ago. Is this the and, Walmart order? Uh, he uh, he was ranting yeah. about the Walmart order, which I totally get. But this is actually not about his rant. Uh, so as I was watching it, uh, he calls you out for the razor. Yes, the he scalpel. likes to call out my surgical blade which, or whatever. Which I get his point. I mean, he's not wrong. Okay, man. this is what I will say. I use an X-Acto knife. Or, for those of you that watch the Lego movie, <laughs> it is called the Blade of Exact Zero. If it's good enough for Lord Business, it's good enough for me. Go. What do you have to say? I don't need I don't need fancy thumb ups and downs. You know what know though? What that the, the that what he the razor that he had, I wish I had that as a teenager. Not for the reasons you're thinking, but I worked at a grocery store and we opened up a lot of boxes mm -hmm. for the night crew. So yeah. our job was to get the truck and it was called truck. That's the name of the position. You're gonna you're doing truck tonight. Go. Okay. So we get in and we cut all this and we'd stack them. But there was a cutter and a stacker. So you cut them open and we put tape around our thumbs. To, to prevent ourselves from getting like burned or cut uh, and because you had to be so precise on these but he had a guard on it that would have made that so much easier mm. man I tell you what dude that would have been great to have back a long time ago anyway my point was that as I was watching it I was trying to listen to his rant you know so and, but Jimmy was practicing piano okay. my 11 year old so I turned it up so I'm turning it up, I'm listening, and I'm like close to it, right this. Now, if you are familiar, this, or if you've watched any of Mardi Gras Man, of the video? That's what we're gonna... video, you know that he plays a little audio clip. Port, and until the next one, we'll see. You know it's coming, you know, because it's at the end of every video. I know. And you prepare yourself for it, and but even though you prepare yourself for it, it's still really loud. 
right? And you can't wait because he's not done talking when he plays it. Have yeah, you noticed it's, it's that suddenly, every time? It's suddenly, bam, it's there. Like, right? He's in the middle. And All right, we'll catch you next. Yay! Yay! <laughs> My problem with this particular one, and it's it's always I, it always gets me. I always go, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> But this one, I had turned up my volume. And Jimmy had stopped playing the piano. I had it up. And remind you, remember, I'm like this, watching it. You know, am I these nice clips uh, speakers? And I've got it turned up still. I've adapted to the sound. And all of a sudden, that just goes off. I'm like, Whoa! I mean, my neighbors must have heard it. And I hear Jimmy in, uh, in the other room like, yay! That was so loud, yay, yay! Anyway, you got me on that one, Earl. That was, it was loud. It was, it was loud. Funny. And I don't know if he does that on purpose because there are times where I put audio clips or, or, or music mm -hmm. and I can see that it's noticeably louder. Yeah. So when I go into like a, a time lapse, when the audio comes, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so loud. And I can click, okay, negative 12 decibels or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's better. Earl, please. <laughs> Turn it down, man. Please. I think you took like two years off my life today, man. Because <laughs> I was, I don't know. It was just like the, the perfect storm of having to turn up closer and then all of a sudden the noise is gone from the back and it was just that. Yay! Whoa. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Continue on with the, uh, well, the, com the, the comments section. My wife saw that video and she's like, wait, Earl has a thing where he rants about Walmart? I said, yep. <laughs> she's like... I said, yeah, he had some problems. She's like, well, good. That's what she said. I said, wait, what? Dang. She's like, he gets all these crazy deals, and I don't, you know, why don't we ever see anything like that? I'm like, oh, okay. So she was kind good. of good. Well, he has that store, Dirt Cheap. I don't know if you've heard him talk about this. He oh, goes yeah. there, Dirt and cheap, yeah. like a lot of them still have like wrapping paper <laughs> pieces on them from like they were returned Christmas <laughs> presents. It makes me laugh. It's like my inspiration life. Open up a store that says uh, Dirt Cheap. Come on in. And evidently that's what it, he buys them for, but... They're cheap. You know, because yeah. he got a bunch of stuff that was like $5 that were like $50 sets. And yeah, it's, it's, crazy. it's crazy. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, that's, 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 that's funny, Tanya. Good job. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I didn't plan this, but I'm just curious. What's the best Lego deal you've ever gotten? That... You're going across and, and I don't mean, decades you know, and, of and, and collecting. And don't say, well, uh, Lego sent me the Batman thing for free. Like, that's not what we're talking about. Oh, no, I'm not talking about land sets, no. Uh, like, you went to the store, and all of a sudden you're like, holy crap, this is on sale. So, okay, a, a retail purchase. Not someone just giving me Lego. Well, I mean, that's a little different. You know, like, yeah. like fleecing the kid for the Captain Rex. I mean, you know, there's that, I guess. But I still kind of feel like you got the best of the deal. Irregardless. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to have Captain Rex, but I got a Captain Rex in the box right there. Ooh. What did he do? You fleeced Lego too. Good for you. Sure okay, did, so. maybe. I don't know. Uh, how, how, how much of a deal that I get? I, I know of a great deal that I missed that still haunts me to this day. <laughs> okay, we'll take that one. What is uh, it? That would be, and it was actually in this room. This is where I had my computer. It was set up in here because I was going to, to school at the time. And it was, was it Christmas Day or was the day after Christmas? Uh, it was right around Christmas time. And I pulled it up. I think it was 2012. Mm -hmm. And they had the, uh, uh, what do you call that thing? The, um, oh, wow. I, uh, why does the word escape me now? The, um, the Imperial flagship okay. was on a deep discount because they were getting rid of it. And it was sold out. Was this Lego that had it? Yeah, it was Lego. Uh -huh. And I went, oh, and I don't know how much it was, but it was a sweet discount and it was sold out by the time I opened up my computer. It happened just that morning. Mm -hmm. And and now it's so expensive and it, and it, always, has, it always has been expensive because yeah. it followed the two year rule of, of, of availability. Why, I don't know, just give us the two years again. Give us some normalcy back. Give us some consistency back, Lego. I mean, this, it just drives me crazy because it's crap like that that happens where you, you, you have an idea like, okay, this is gonna be a great set, I'm gonna get it, it just has to be the right timing. Oh, it's sold out, it's gone, you know? Like the bust, who cares? That was awful, you know, that was a bust. We we're happy to see it. Like, did it even last a year? I don't even know. Black Panther, matter. is that what we're talking about? Black Panther bust. Well, I'm not talking about that. Rest now, in peace. See, I've gone, yeah, don't rest, <laughs> rest in pieces. <laughs> it looks good on your, I can see it down there. It's down there, but. 
What was I talking about? I was starting to rant. You were ranting uh, about the Imperial flagship. No, I was, but it, I don't know. I, I just, it's so frustrating when these deals happen because they're so inconsistent with, with and, and I was ranting the other week about, you know, the, the dang Razor, Razor Crest, Crest going on sale. You know, I, it's just like, it just makes you not want to buy. But then like, oh, I don't want to miss out at the same yeah. time, yeah. you know? So uh, it's, it's, it's kind of frustrating. So I, I, I wish they bring back some consistency with the longevity of the life cycle of, uh, of the shelf life. Mm -hmm. You know, give us a two year run of all your sets so we have an idea of when they're going to be sold out. And it's all over the place now. It's all over the place. It could be six months, a year, it could be friggin' 10 years well. that they're going on. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, that's been a sore spot for me, especially after I. Uh, so I've had to out. adapt the way that I buy sets. Like I, yeah, I used to. You know, oh, the new I don't know whatever comes out, I'm gonna go buy it day one. You know, a lot of Star Wars sets, things like that. Uh, yeah, I don't do that anymore. You know, I, I'll probably buy the new UCS set that's coming out in May, but I'm gonna buy it because I'm gonna get it with double VIP points and the Star Wars gift with purchase. You know. Yeah, but okay. I've been timing my purchases that way so that I make sure I try to get a better value. And, yes, you know some of these bigger sets that I'm interested in, I wait because, like Lion Knight's Castle, I was interested in getting that, mm -hmm. but you know, I, I, number one is four hundred bucks, and it's like, well, I don't know, but I'm glad I waited because Black Friday came around. That was the thing I bought. But that's that's what's ruining it for me is that, okay, I'm not going to buy these things because they're going to put them on sale. So I'm just going to wait and, and see. Like, I, I did, I, I got a good deal on the Atari. I was happy about that. That's on discount again. Because if I bought that full price, I'd be like, oh, man, 20%. Uh, but that thing was 30%, wasn't it? Wasn't it 30%, the Razor Crest? I think so. On a $600 set, that's no small thing. So you know what's well, funny? Well, they had it at Costco like, too. I don't want to talk like about Costco. Fifty bucks at Costco. I don't, just, dude. Just don't right now with that because I it just ticks me off. It irks me, man. Ooh. Like I just it irks me because like, it was it's just so fresh because I just barely had bought it and that happened, you know. So that's that's all. But the <laughs> let me not to change the subject here because you 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 asked the the dang question of mm -hmm. what's your best deal i don't know i'll have to i'll have to research it i mean there's been some stuff i've got as at a, at a decent deal you know from lego that's been on clearance uh probably the best like ucs deal i had was uh it was a may the fourth weekend and i got a couple of uh what are they called uh, are they b wings i think it's called the b wing mm -hmm. and i bought them as investment sets uh, made a great return on it because they were being sold for like 50 percent yeah so i bought a couple of them and i sold them for I don't know, probably the, their, their normal value of $200. I wish I kept one because I collect them now. <laughs> but I refuse to spend that much money on one aftermarket because I don't feel like it's that much of a cool set. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has its thing. But, you know, I, people often ask me because, you know, they see how much Lego you have. And they're like, what's, what's the best way to buy cheap Lego? You ever get asked that question? Uh, not, man. You know, I, I get that. Ton. I get that from people who have kids that are kind of getting to the age of like, hey, I like Lego, mom. Like, And then they go, whoa, Lego is expensive. expensive. And so they reach out to a friend who happens to collect Lego. And they go, how do you find cheap Lego? And I go, <laughs> first I laugh. Yeah. Uh, but they're not near me. I don't laugh in their face. Like if they were to talk, I go like, well... Let's see, because years ago, I would. Uh, it seemed to me the turning point uh, with finding good deals on Lego to not finding good deals on Lego is when the Lego movie came out. Mm. Okay. 10 years ago. 10 years. And after that, it made it so popular yeah. with, with youngins to go out there and get Lego. And after that, that was when I noticed. And that's also when my channel started to take off, I noticed. Hmm. Was that that's funny when it finally I saw like oh hey I hit 500 subscribers. Well, you were on the news. I was on the news. That did that help? I don't know if that really helped a lot. Um, I didn't I didn't see a spike. The only spike that I visibly saw happen was when Beyond the Brick shared some of my videos. Hmm. Uh, they 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 took some of my videos. They shared them on their platform, but credited me. And that month, just a single month, I got 5,000 subscribers. 
Wow. It was incredible. I thought, this is how it's going. I think this is the big time. And then it went. <laughs> <laughs> No. It went, Ew. anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, you were talking about best deals. You cannot find a good deal on Lego unless you buy something at full price and then find out six months later, they're going to put it on a deep discount. That's how you find cheap Lego. Buy it at full price like I did. And that'll guarantee it'll be on sale sooner than later. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think it's that way with a lot of things that have become quote unquote collectible. Like... I guess, you know, next the last 10 years is probably the time frame that this happened, but, you know, it became more acceptable for adults to collect toys. I mean, I, mean, I think that's a lot of it. Because it's not just Lego. There's other things, yep. you know, whether it's Star Wars figures or, you know, whatever it is, you know. Yeah. And, and as that happened, because, you know, you, you hear, well like Jabo talking about going and buying all these things on clearance after Christmas. And I remember going and getting stuff on clearance. Mm. Now there's, there's not hardly anything left. Like you, you go down, you know, the week yeah. of Christmas and the aisles are, are, are empty. There's no Lego to be found. Maybe a, a BTS set or something, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or a half a soccer field. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, no, you're, you're not wrong. Uh, it, the words out, man, it's a popular toy and, uh, and Lego knows it. Yep. And they've really tapped in well with the the adult market, and that's honestly that's why the land exists is because of the adult market. Mm -hmm. uh, that they, they did not create uh, the Lego Ambassador Network to kind of help kids get into the hobby. They did it for adults. Well, those kids don't have any money, so this is true. Yeah, they want. All us. right. Anyway, uh, you were going to read questions. Should we do a few questions here. Let's comments, do a few whatever. questions. Yeah, why not? All right. Bricks on an island. Oh, it's our hey, German yeah. episode, so here we there go. There you go, right on. Uh, yes, you press the record button. <laughs> we can see <laughs> and hear you. You don't have to redo the whole show. Thank you. Just, just for context, that wasn't what happened on the one that didn't get recorded. It was a whole different problem. Yeah, imagine Someone, spending an hour recording an entire show to find out. It was out. such a good show. It was a great show, and you'll never see it. That's right. And we'll never see it, but it was great. Um, it was epic. Probably the best one we ever did. Uh, that's not saying much. Zack Attack Productions. <laughs> Zack Attack. Hey, good to hear from you again. For me, Saturday mornings was Scooby-Doo all the way. Oh, Scooby-Doo, yes. Mm. Uh, me, myself, the one. Nostalgia is awesome. That's especially true. since I'm about the same age as you guys. Hey, right on. Wouldn't it be great if some of those cartoons you mentioned would get Lego sets? <sighs> no, nope. it wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Because I'd be want better them. than some of the other crap, though. No, you're. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm just saying I'd want to buy it. Well, you. You would find a way. That's all I would say. Uh, note to Alex: Life I'm one of the, those people who didn't watch the McLaren video. <laughs> I'm just the one, not. I'm just not into Lego yes. cars and or racing in the slightest. That's fair. That's also fair. yes. There's Apple TV Plus apps and other devices. I have a Samsung TV and I can watch it. Oh, that was because. Oh yeah, ah, I forgot. I, I had my. I have. Here. I have a Samsung TV. That's what. Because you asked me what kind of TV. I'm like a TV, but it is a Samsung TV. And yes. just so we're clear, an Apple TV is not the TV. It's a box that you attach to your TV. Oh, okay. Just so you know. Uh, Apple doesn't make TVs. No, they make a box that goes to your TV. Unless you count your monitor, I guess. Wasn't Apple making a vehicle? Uh, there's all kinds of rumors, whatever. Uh, John Powell says. Galaxy Quest was considered by a lot of people as the best Star Trek movie ever made. It was perfection. Being older than you guys, and then in parentheses, 65. So I mean, I don't know if that means he is 65 or he's born in 65, but they're kind of about the same. <laughs> None of the cartoons you mentioned were around for me. Uh, we yeah. watched Looney Tunes or Hanna Barbera, oh, the classics. I remember yeah. Looney Tunes. That I remember would come Looney on Tunes during the morning. Specifically, yeah. Because they would have that, you know. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. What is that? Uh, I, I can't remember the words, you know. Do, 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 do. On with the show, this is it. You know, they would have that. I don't know if you remember. That was the intro. I don't know the words. And then they'd have all the cartoons. Then they'd have the cartoons. Yeah. That's all, folks. Rob Lyons says, geez, you guys proved Jabo right with the food, and his video was friggin' hilarious. That, yeah, that was great. <laughs> uh, let's see. Brickzar, 
Yes, I call him Locutus of Borg. Yeah, is Locutus. Right? Okay. He's got the cybernetic implants. He also <laughs> says, pretty sure I googled the exact same reference on Vintage when oh. I did a video on the topic a few years ago. Yes. Also, I forgot that I had done a video on that before. The problem with shorts, reels, TikTok is, why do I bother when there is no money to be made unless you are young and have sponsors? Only mm. point is to do them for fun if you like it. Yeah. And with shirts, I think it's, or sh I think it's supposed to be shorts, but yeah. with shorts, I think it's 10 million views. I'm also misle it's also misleading because uh, side you can build a huge subscriber base but you're actually, but are they actually watching anything? I think I'd rather have a smaller core audience, you know, the ones, you know, the ones you oh, know yeah, yeah. and yeah. That comment regularly. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the survey on the point thing is ridiculous. Oh, this is when you scan your thing, the survey that I complained about that. It says, I do skip, but also think surveys are dumb. Smart people skip them. Uh, and Clever Pig commented on his and said, 100% agree with that. I've seen people who do shorts primarily with tens of thousands of subscribers, but they will do long form or community posts and get zero interaction. Short forms, short form subscribers seem really shallow almost. I kind of agree with that. Yeah, no, all good points. Um, irregardless, uh, we'll keep doing our long form. Well, that, that's, that's our thing. That's our thing, and I love it. It's good stuff. Uh, Brickstar also says, I foresaw the future. I made the Tipper Truck TV video so I could do commentary on not bricking news. Yeah, that was that worked well, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Chronologically, you actually beat me to it. <laughs> Home travel is hard. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> this, this lifestyle. Oh, I mean, community commentary. Oh, the Tipper Truck on the toilet. Uh, that will forever be ingrained in my mind. Well, now I can't use that one. I was... Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, Rob Lyon says, For me, Saturday mornings was Looney Tunes, and even my dad would watch with us. Awesome. That's a bonus right there. So, there you go. I wonder if it's like... Like, because you're... You, when we were kids, like, our parents would watch us watching, you know, whatever it is, Scooby-Doo, Transformers, mm -hmm. Smurfs, and they go, What is this junk? This is, a bunch, this is mm -hmm. just a... This is a 30-minute commercial for toys. <laughs> And sure enough, I'm doing the same thing with my kids when they're watching their, what is he? He's watching, um, uh, what's that guy's name? Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, what are they doing? This is the stupidest video. Like, my videos are so much better than this guy. And he's getting, you know, all these hits and at a ridiculous rate. Uh, I mean, I'll credit to him, whatever. But re irregardless, I look at what they're doing. Like, they're just talking about nonsensical stuff. Like, you know how much this dessert cost me? $10 million. It's just like, this is entertainment now? Anyway. Unfortunately, yes, it is. It, it drives me bonkers. I, 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 I go mad when I see those things. And because Jimmy loves it. And, but what, is he, what does he tell me? He's like, but he's got millions of subscribers. I'm like, yeah, but my videos That doesn't are, mean it's good. I know, but that, in his mind. I know. Anyway. He, he, it just it just drives me nuts. And then Josh is different now. He's he's into the short form, you know. And and uh, and I look at the stuff, uh, and I, I'll, I'll watch him on his phone. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> now now to be fair, that's like my daughter. I kind of do that too sometimes. Like my my wife and I, we have that relationship where we do send each other similar, like funny reels that are very applicable to us in our our state of life. Uh, but sometimes I'm looking over his shoulder and I'm looking at what he's watching. I'm like, what is this garbage? <laughs> Cause that's what it is. It's garbage anyway. But he's like, <laughs> he laughs. And sometimes he'll like share reels. And now I, I like it when he shares reels with me because like he feels like he can connect with me in yeah. that way, which I love. But sometimes those reels come my way and I'm like, what's what? the, what's the point of this? <laughs> Am I supposed to be laughing? Is this supposed to be funny? Anyway, that's, uh. Yeah, good times. Uh, mm. Maybe I'm just jealous, you know, because I don't know. What did I say a couple weeks ago? Uh, I shared that meme that Mindy sent to me. See, there you go. Uh, just to all those who are going to work Monday morning, just know that there was a <laughs> an eight-year-old who made $30 million yeah. on YouTube playing with toys. Playing with toys. 
that way. And I'm making $10 making this video. If, and it, it, is if it goes good. And if it, go, if if it, it goes, goes very well. You're not making anything. It's not my channel. This is your channel, yeah. <laughs> I can do a song and a dance and no one's going to see it. <laughs> wow. I do your bump. It's okay. I got you. I got your back, man. All right. now, we, get the, we get the same amount of views. Yeah, we're, we're, it's getting closer than yeah, we used to. Yeah, it's cool. Because yeah. that was the thing that was, I, I don't know, I don't know, frustrating is the right word. I mean, because I, I don't, mm. you know, like we've said, we really aren't in this for the money. But, you know, it's like, why are people but, watching one and not the other? Yeah. You know, that was, I guess, the question. Cause it's well, not, sometimes I would forget to post it, like on my channel. Like, I do a yeah. post of yours. And and sometimes I'm like late. You're like, hey, dude. I'm like, oh, oh. that's probably it. You probably get all of my viewers it's over on yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to. I don't want to brag or anything, but uh, <laughs> but no, I think if for, for the most part, the core audience does find it just fine. I would think so. Yeah. I'm curious, how many people? Like, what percentage? So you know, we get I don't know what somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred views an episode, on average. Mm. What percentage of the audience do you think? is subscribed to either just one of our channels or neither of our channels. Well, it's going to be a higher... I know higher, you can probably look on YouTube. I'm just... Uh, that, that watch, that are subscribed yeah. to both of our channels, who watch Breaking News? Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably a high percentage. Yeah, I'm just curious. I, I'm guessing it's over 50%. Oh, I would be shocked if it was not over 50%. Because I, I, don't, I don't think a lot of people are going to stumble upon this and be like... Oh, wow, look at a couple of old guys eating food and talking about Lego. And other nonsense. If you're lucky, we're talking about Lego. <laughs> you look at the content, like Bricky News started out 100% Lego content. And then it's it started, evolved, we'll started, just say. And now they're eating food. It's, it's, it's like society. It's evolved over soda. years. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, like I didn't someone, say for the well, better. I just who, said, said, who made the point about technology getting better, but we get stupider, right? Yeah. That's, this is, this is was technology. It this week or last week? I this is remember. intelligence. <laughs> Opposites, yes. All right. All right. Should we do a community commentary here quickly? Let's do a quickly commentary. Uh, commentary James Rolfe sent this hey, in. James? James um, Tiberius Rolfe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know his we, middle name was Tiberius until I watched Star Trek VI. Isn't that terrible? Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I know. It's terrible, but yeah. When he says in court, James Tiberius. Baby, I thought it was a slander. I'm like, whoa, that's a big word. What Wasn't is this the Klingon court? Yeah. Right. Um, for a, so you um, thought it was like a bad Klingon word? I thought it was like Tiberius Kirk. And I'm like, huh. I think it's his name, like his middle name. I was like, go to school next day. Do you know James Kirk's middle name? I didn't think so. Like, I don't even know his last name. <laughs> <laughs> Tiberius. Anyway, sorry, go on. Sorry, James. All right. So, sorry, James, <laughs> we see comments from James from time to time. We he do. says, Yes. Hey, Jason, I thought you and Alex might enjoy some pics of my new Avengers Tower base. Heck yeah. Build That's and laid cool. out with some other towers. With other towers. Yes. Let's see yes. if I can get it to pull up here. Make it bigger. Well, we're just going to look at it this way, I guess. Uh, see, I get this 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 thought that, uh, you know, from the parody from Jabba. I'm going to here. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look, don't look, 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 look. Oh, all right, here it is. Uh, ooh, oh, he went for the um, the authentic kind of yeah. color uh, of the build. Yep. Very nice. Um, and then there's this one next to the sit complex. Oh. He says the sit complex has several custom floors, including a music shop, apartment for the music shop owners, Doctor Strange's secret workshop and prison area, Mandalorian Forge, then some standard friends, Sesame Street, Etc. that Kim Plata designed, Brick Artisan, for those of mm -hmm. you who don't know, uh, with some minor tweaks. And it's funny because the Daily Bugle looks so tiny next so to those, tiny, doesn't but it? it's not tiny. No, it's a big build. It's insane. So, and, and then that's there's cool. that one there. Oh, great detail. That's really nice. Uh, that's, I guess, the back side the of back the build. Of, yeah. And then this is looking up above. Wow. This is the first floor entry and administration with an Iron Man mech on display oh. and some seating and green space areas. Yes. Very nice. And then this is the second floor, smaller Iron Man armory area with several prototype suits and some robotic assistants. Very cool. Pepper and Fury are there to discuss the next mission. Very nice. I like that. That is so, great. Yeah. Great interior. So, no, I, I thought that was really good looking. It is really good looking. So, well done. Thanks for sharing that. There man. you go. 
So, yeah, thanks for sending that in. Dang, good mm -hmm. detail on the inside and out. Oh. All right. Do we get everything? We did some... I think we got everything. We, yeah. Man, we, we're doing... Man, look at us go. I it's know. like as if we know what we're doing. It's like maybe. we're going to not... Remember, we forgot something until we hit stop. <laughs> yes. Like, wait a minute. Oh, we forgot. Oh. Yes. But hey, man, any episode that features a micro scale taper truck is going to be up there, man. That's a winner. In your it's book. a winner, winner chicken dinner that apparently I'm usually eating during one of these episodes, according <laughs> to Jabo. So, oh, uh, there we go. There you go. All right. Anything else? I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, we would like to thank today's, today's sponsor. sponsor. Coming soon to the Palace Cinema Theater, the story of one man's quest to change the world forever. Linda, these experiments are going to change the world. Do you think they're safe? My formula is foolproof. Starting the injection now. Wait, what's well, something going wrong? Oh no! Ah! But something has been released upon an unsuspecting city. What horrors will befall this innocent population? You may try to run, you may try to hide, but you will never escape the Brick Separator. Kiss your bricks goodbye, coming soon to a Palace Cinema Theater near you.